In the infinity of the universe, where time and space collide, there existed entities of immeasurable power. These were allegories etched in our human consciousness, illuminating our understanding of life, its mysteries, the universe, and our role within it. Enigmatic yet intimate and known as the Titans, originating from the clutches of chaos, mark the dawn of cosmic order. Firstly, we descend into the realm of Kronos, youngest of the Titans, though not lacking in ambition. His rule over time was absolute, turning the cogs of the universe with calculating precision. His narrative weaves a tale of immense power, grappling with fear and paranoia, a tale ensnared with patricide and absolute control. Kronos' story begins with a fierce rebellion against his father Uranos, as foretold by his mother Gaia. Hungry for power, Kronos unseated his father, becoming the supreme ruler of the cosmos. However, prophecy whispered of a son destined to overthrow him, his child with Rhea, all which leads to a twisted climax when Kronos, in his attempt to evade destiny, devours his children. This is a story of power, ambition, and the inevitable shifting of time, one titan's downfall becoming another's rise. Yet every deity has its antithesis, and for Kronos it is Rhea, his sister and consort. As the maternal titaness, Rhea embodies nature, fertility, and the cycle of generation. Ensconced within this tale is the mother's love and courage. As the mother of the Olympians, Rhea's ingenuity saved her youngest child, Zeus, from the belly of Kronos, a story reflecting the power of maternal love against the most insurmountable odds. While Rhea's narrative bestows the importance of love and family, the story also expounds on resilience. For it was through Rhea that the reign of Kronos was dismantled and the era of the Olympians unleashed. This nurturing and resourceful titaness indeed plays a pivotal role in the shifting dynasties of Greek mythology. Moving forward in our chronicle, we encounter Menemosyne. Her narrative is often overlooked, swept into the corners of mythology, yet she is the titaness of memory, which in itself speaks volumes about her influence. Menemosyne taught the ancients a lesson that rings true even today that memory is the foundation of knowledge, wisdom, and identity. It is through memory that we learn, adapt, and evolve. The tale sheds light on the importance of remembrance and our collective consciousness. Mennemosin's story is entwined with her offspring, the Nine Muses, who are the emanations of science, literature, and arts. They represent the importance of memory and past, where knowledge and creativity spring forth an enduring legacy originated from the memory itself. Next in our cavalcade of ancient divinities comes Oceanus, the literal embodiment of the world's waters. Unlike his headstrong siblings, Oceanus refrained from the rebellious fight against the Olympians, choosing neutrality, a decision that left his realm untouched during the reign of the Olympians. His narrative touches on themes of immense power and balanced restraint, an exploration of a titan who chose diplomacy over uprising, emphasizing the importance of peace and neutrality within conflict, providing a counter-narrative amidst the tales of war and rebellion within the Titanomachy. Paired perfectly with Oceanus is Tethys, the titaness of nursing. She is the mother of thousands of daughters, the Oceanids and rivers. The narrative of Tethys is one of motherhood and sustenance, nurturing the diversity of life within her waters. The dichotomy of Tethys and Oceanus signifies union, balance, the creating and sustaining of life, themes ever present in the Greek understanding of nature and the cosmos, an exploration of the softer side of a pantheon often associated with conflict and grandeur. As we delve deeper into tales engraved within the cosmos, we move towards Hyperion, the embodiment of heavenly light. The father of Helios, Sun, Selene, Moon, and Eos, Dawn. Hyperion's tale is a narrative of measured calm amidst the chaotic cosmos. His narrative provides an understanding of the universe's celestial aspects, his offspring representing different phases of day, a beautiful testament to the order within chaos, life's cyclical nature, brightening the bank of Greek mythology with tales of ethereal beauty and cosmic harmony. In our exploration of the Titans, we must not forget about Phoebe, the titaness of mystery and prophecy. 
She ruled the darkest corners of the intellect, where mystical knowledge and wisdom were born out of shadows. Through her daughter Leto and her grandchildren Apollo and Artemis, she is associated with the clear light of truth shining from obscurity. Phoebe's particular narrative is incredibly engaging, illustrating the fascination of the ancients for the illuminating light of truth and the predictive wisdom of prophecy. Her descendants include one of the most famous oracles of antiquity, an oracle at Delphi, a center of the universe for the ancient Greeks. Underlining her story's importance is understanding the entire tapestry of mythology. Moving from intellectual light to the intellectual itself, we are introduced to Coas. As the titan of intellect and knowledge, he adds a new dimension to our narrative. The enigmatic nature of his contribution to mythology captivates our exploration. Despite being less known among the titans, his legacy holds importance. He was the father of Leto, mother of the twin Olympians Apollo and Artemis. Through them, Coas's pedigree influenced the broader storyline of Greek mythology, a tribute to the often understated yet profound influence of knowledge and intellect. As we delve into Thea's story, we explore a different aspect of the cosmos. Known as the titaness of sight and shining light of the bright sky, she was the deity of the blue ether, the mother of the sun, Helios, moon, Selene, and dawn, Eos. She, along with Hyperion, gift the heavens with their sparkling occupants. Thea's tale underscores the ancients' understanding of space, light, and their belief in the divine's interconnection with natural elements. Next up is the feminine embodiment of divine order, law, and custom, Themis. Her figure, standing firm amidst the chaos, resonates with her steady voice of reason, counseling both mortals and immortals alike. Hers is a story of innate wisdom, ethical order, and the phantasm of her prophetic visions. Themis's narrative extends beyond the incorporation of law and justice on a social level. She also governs the natural order, the seasonal cycle, the movement of the stars, and the established etiquette of the divine cosmos. Her children, the Horai, Seasons, and the Moirai, Fates, often attests to this seeming omniscience. It appears there is no domain unseen or untouched by her deep understanding of the universe. Through them, she extends her influence over the very fabric of time, controlling seasons, life cycles, and law and order. Themis's ethereal offspring, ruling over human mortality and the elemental shifts of the world, echo her gravity within the Titan hierarchy an awe-inspiring depiction of life, death, and the divine. Themis, in her quiet resolve, molds the world on a fundamental level. The societal norms we honor and the seasonal rhythms we witness are a testament to her ceaseless vigilance. The next figure in our cosmic narrative is Iapetus, known as the Piercer, an embodiment of mortal lifespan. Notable in his own right, he gains renown through his sons Prometheus, Epimetheus, and the infamous Atlas. Iapetus's story lines between Titan and Olympian narratives, adding a layer of complexity, embellishing the diverse trajectories and further enriching Greek mythology. Looming in the celestial arena of our narrative stands Creus, the mysterious Titan god associated with the constellation, the least known among the primordial Titans. His dominion touches upon an aspect that has fascinated humanity for eons, the stars and constellations. Creus, often referred to as the Pillar of the South, held his post at the southern quadrant of the heavens. He stands stoic, overseeing the constellations that godly siblings have entrusted to him. His tale, although obscured by the weight of other Titans' narratives, speaks of the ancients' fascination with the cosmos. His lineage gave birth to Perses, Pallas and Astraeus, each tied to star lore and surrounding mythology. He is a forgotten sentinel, a guiding hand in the celestial sphere, offering his ancient wisdom to interpret the star's language and the secrets of the cosmos. As our narrative draws its curtains, it leaves behind a captivating panorama of divine tales filled with cataclysmic shifts in power and divine orchestrations. The world of Titans is indeed an alluring dimension. Here the divine and the mortal realm intertwine in a wistful dance endlessly spinning tales of fascination and intrigue, each more beguiling than the last. Embodied within them are ageless truths, a wisdom awaiting its awakening as we journey through the realms of forgotten lore, unearthing tales lost in time and space. 
We thank you for taking the time to indulge in their tales of power, wisdom, balance, order, and harmony. Their stories remind us of the indomitable spirit within us and the never-ceasing rhythm of life and the cosmos. Your presence gave life to these ancient narratives, transcending the boundaries of time, rekindling the flame of a world long past yet ever-present in its influence. Your engagement and curiosity are what keep these tales alive, continuing the oral tradition that has been at the heart of our collective memory for millennia. We hope you found this journey as mesmerizing and enriching as we've found delivering it. May the tales of the Titans continue to inspire, entertain, and resonate with you as we bid you farewell. Until we meet again in another time, another myth. Thank you for being part of this epic voyage in the realm of the Titans. <laughs>